I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll take it all back. That is me holding my hands up to Gareth. I doubted you. I questioned your your tactics, I questioned your, your selections, and ultimately you've proved me and everyone else wrong. So it's the morning after that England have made it to a final. England have made it to a final for the first time since 1966. First time in my lifetime and many other people's lifetimes. It still feels a bit surreal. Feeling a little worse for wear after the celebrations. It wasn't our best game by any means, but no team has ever won anything without a gritty performance without a performance where you're tested and you come back and show who you really are and for the first time ever i never actually doubted us winning this game for the first time when we went one nil down i didn't sit back and say this is this is typical england we're going to lose now it was more of a actually this might give us what we need you know going one nil down will give us a kick up the arse that we need to get playing and we responded fairly quickly and it's testament to, to the way that Southgate has set this team up and the belief they have the unity they have as a team the squad is in it a hundred percent you don't get that sense that there's players angry that they're not playing or not playing enough everyone's playing their part credit does have to go to Southgate from that that first team selection against Croatia I thought I honestly thought we could be out at the group or the or the first knockout round because it just seemed like he was not making not making the best out of the quality that we have. And can we play better football? Yes. Could we have a manager that sets us up better, that plays more of the better players, gets the team playing more like in Italy, more like Spain when we dominate the ball and we have all these amazing players getting on the ball and, and quick touches and we could be doing all that. But to do that in such a short space of time when you're only with the manager for a for a limited number of weeks you know maybe a couple of months if you're lucky i think it's very difficult to do that some managers spend whole seasons trying to implement something so to do that so quickly would would have been difficult what mancini has done at italy is is incredible but they probably should have gone out in the semi-final spain were the better team and this is where southgate's plan which i think he's had from the beginning to firstly not concede and then nick a goal he knows he can win this tournament this way if we hold out italy if we restrict Italy to zero or one goal, we have a massive chance of winning the final. I think I had every right to doubt Southgate. You know, his credentials weren't really there. He got relegated with, with Middlesbrough. He was a new manager at the time, you have to say that. But what I think he's done is he has learnt from every mistake he's made. When you look back at the World Cup 2018 and you actually look at the team that faced Croatia in that semi-final, it's a different team almost to what we're playing now. A different setup. We were relying on Sterling and Kane only to provide. The rest of the team were defensive. I think it shows that he's growing as a manager and particularly as, a, as an international manager. I think he's drawn on all of the mistakes that he's seen when he was in the England camp, when he saw other managers making the same mistake, maybe trying to treat it like a club. It's not a club tournament, it's a national tournament. And I think one of the biggest things he's done is bring that group together. And he did that at the World Cup as well. And you could potentially say we overachieved with the team that we put out. We had the likes of Ali, Ashley Young, Jesse Lingard, and we got to a semi-final. Should we have progressed to the final? Probably. But would we have beaten France, that France? I doubt it. I highly doubt it. I don't think that team was ready. But he's taken that and it's it's always a cliche when a manager comes out after a loss and says, oh, we need to learn from this. We'll learn from our mistakes. We'll defend better next time. And it's just chat. But you genuinely get the sense that he's trying to work on his mistakes. He's not just listening to the media. He's not just listening to the fans and saying, well, every single person wants Jack Grealish to start. So I'm going to start him. He's not done that. He's been bold with his selections and it's paying off. Obviously, if it doesn't pay off, it's going to be criticised like any England manager would. But it has worked and he's he's doing something different. He's got a game plan. He's doing it his way. And he obviously knows that team better than, than me or any, any of us. He knows those players in, inside out. He knows their character. He knows how they're feeling and what they can give to this team. And perfect example of that is, is Sterling. Although Although he does come with his frustrations, he has performed in every single game in one way or another. There were times last night it was so frustrating to watch him dribbling into straight into people, misplacing passes. His first touch was poor at times, but then he goes and wins a penalty or he creates a chance by taking it past one or two players. The players are so scared of him because he's so quick. Often what you get with someone that's quite unpredictable with, with their feet, they don't really know where it's going then. How is a defender? And so it does give you that opportunity to draw free kicks and penalties. And that's exactly what happened. It was a soft penalty. I think it's a 50-50 half 
half of people will say he got touched so therefore he has every right to go down some people say it's not enough to go down and could have stayed on his feet but how many times have we been have we been cheated out of things in in tournaments when you look back at Simeone flopping around after Beckham barely touched him Frank Lampard's goal which crossed the line by a good yard and wasn't given. I think it's our time to, to use the dark arts a little bit of football and do whatever it takes to get that win. Because in five years' time, people don't remember that. You know, I know we, we remember Maradona's hand of God, which is still Peter Shilton's fault, because how are you getting out jumped by someone that's five foot five when you're six foot plus? But what people remember is that Argentina won that game, and that's it. And people aren't going to look back at this and say, oh, Harry Kane cheated, blah, blah, blah. But with all our criticisms out the way, we've got to a final. It's an amazing feeling. It's a feeling I've never had before. I really hope we do it. I really, really hope we do it. But we'll still be proud of this team for a long time if, if we don't win. Italy are a great team. Massive history. You wouldn't put it past them to just come and do a job and win the game. The risk is if they go 1-0 up, you know what they're going to do. They're going to be flying around all over the place and delaying every every opportunity they can. So there is a danger in letting them go 1-0 up. I think we've got enough. I think we've got enough. I think we can hold them out. It's taken a wonder goal, a wonder free kick to get the goal against us. Um, I hope they don't test Pickford too much. I mean, Pickford seems to be better saving shots than he does actually having the ball. I mean, I was screaming at him last night to just catch a cross rather than punch it because he had no one around him and he could have just caught the ball it, it would have taken all the danger away so there are frustrations there I think with the ball at his feet I worry you never know if it's going to go 100 yards in the air and the full length of the pitch or straight along the ground to one of the opposition players just don't know with him I think he's got that kind of Joe Hart over excitement sometimes I still I still trust in him I still think when there's a save that needs to be made he's he's more than likely going to make it just don't want the silly mistake we've gone this whole tournament without really making one it would be a shame to make one in the final but when the pressure's on these things can happen so yeah I'm so looking forward to to Sunday I take back almost everything I said about Southgate he's had a game plan he's worked it well he's got a lot of people involved I think a lot of that squad will be happy with what they've done um, obviously there are a few that haven't made it onto the pitch at all but they'll be happy at the fact that we've got to a final and they were part of the squad yeah I think he's he's managed it really well really well so credit where it's due I take back some of the criticism I still think there are flaws I still think we're not the complete outfit that we could be I think there's a lot of wasted talent in this squad still but you can't argue that he's got us there and uh, I think we may actually do it let's hope so oh wonder Harry if you could put it in first time next time that'll be that'll be great <laughs>